Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our graduation celebration today. My name is Vicki Ellingrod, and I am Dean of the College of Pharmacy. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy, I am pleased to welcome you all here today. Commencement season is actually one of my favorite times of the year because it really gives us an opportunity to celebrate our students and everything that they have accomplished during their time here. Today, we are here to honor the Bachelors of Science of Pharmaceutical Sciences Class of 2024, who are graduating from the number two college of pharmacy in the nation and the best undergraduate program here at the University of Michigan. As part of their education, our BSPS students explore a rigorous science and research curriculum. Students come to this program because they recognize that having an education grounded in the pharmaceutical sciences really better prepares them for whatever they wish to accomplish, whether it be another health professionals program, a research-oriented graduate degree, or they want to begin their careers in an industry position. This year, we have 32 amazing graduates who have taken countless quizzes and exams, many of which they probably just completed this week. They've completed numerous projects, gave many presentations, and participated in extracurricular activities to prepare them for the transition from student to graduate or alumni. As the first college of pharmacy in the United States at a public institution, our graduates have a long track record of being leaders in the field of pharmacy. We have a long history of innovators who have walked our halls and made an impact on our field, including members of the Upjohn, Lilly, and Walgreens families, all really well-known names in the world of pharmacy, all of whom attended the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy. And today we expect nothing less of our students who are graduating. As you continue on your educational journey or obtain your first job post-graduation. Today, you are going to be joining an elite group of individuals and for that you should be tremendously proud. I know your parents, your families, and our faculty and staff certainly are. One of the greatest things about our BSPS program is that in addition to a great undergraduate education, there is a possibility for students to fast track or expedite earning their undergraduate and PharmD degrees by one year. Today, we have three students, Caitlin, Teresa, and Micah, who are graduating today who chose this option and have already completed the first year of our PharmD program. Can Caitlin, Teresa, and Micah please stand so we can applaud all your hard work this last year? Although our event today is really focused on our graduating students from our BSPS program, I would also like to acknowledge that we have other pharmacy graduates who don't participate in this ceremony, which include our PharmD students, our PhD students, and master's students, all of which who are completing their commencement exercises as well. Getting to today for our students was not easy. And while you did all the hard work, there were also many other people that contributed to the success and achievements of our graduating class. Therefore, I would like to take a few minutes to acknowledge these important groups before we begin the actual ceremony. First, I would like to thank the College of Pharmacy staff for the many hours of hard work they devote to assisting you in attaining your degree. Dean Mark Nelson, Ms. Sneha Strodel, and Ms. Kristen Gregory are key members of our student services team who have worked closely with all of our BSPS students. Please join me in, in giving the College of Pharmacy staff a round of applause. <laughs> the College of Pharmacy is lucky to have a world-class faculty that drives our educational program as well as performing cutting edge research to discover and deliver new drugs, manage the appropriate use of the medications that we currently have available to us, 
and improve health care for every patient that we see and serve. They truly are leading at the edge of pharmacy, and this celebration could not take place without their dedication and hard work. Please join me in giving the College of Pharmacy faculty a round of applause. <laughs> Finally, and most importantly, I would like to recognize those individuals whose emotional and financial support enabled our graduates to be here today. Parents, grandparents, spouses, partners, siblings, and other friends and family members who have supported our graduates, please rise so that we can applaud you for your significant contributions to our graduates' successes. Man, it's like being in class today. Okay, these... <laughs> You truly are the important people in the room, in addition to our graduates. I would now like to introduce the BSPS faculty chair, Dr. Kristen Klein, who's going to give us a few remarks. Dr. Klein is a clinical pharmacist at Michigan Medicine and a clinical professor of pharmacy within our college. She received her bachelor's degree in pharmacy from Southwestern Oklahoma State University and her PharmD degree from the University of Oklahoma. She then completed a specialty residency in pediatric pharmacotherapy at the University of Sciences in Philadelphia. And then following her residency, Dr. Klein joined the faculty of the University of Missouri, Kansas City, where she practiced in a neonatal intensive care unit until she joined the faculty here at Michigan. In addition to chairing the BSPS degree program, all of our graduates know Dr. Klein as the course director of Pharmacy 202 the career exploration class. We are honored to have her with us today. So Dr. Klein, the podium is yours. Thank you, Dean Ellingrod, uh, and welcome to our graduates and all of their guests. What a great day to graduate from the University of Michigan. I met many of you guys during your first semester in our program, although some of you guys decided to postpone it and took it this year instead of your first year. Um, but I met many, I actually met all of you guys in our career exploration course. And although some of you may have thought you knew what you wanted to do with your careers, many of you were still trying to figure it out. We're still trying things on for size. And I am delighted to see how far you've come since then. Some of you have already accepted jobs in the industry or in consulting firms or as researchers. Many of you guys have decided to continue your education in graduate programs, PhD programs. And as Dean Ellingrod said, some of you have decided to stay with us at the College of Pharmacy, and I'm very excited to see you in class again. I look forward to seeing what all of you accomplish in the future as you become the leaders and best in whatever profession you decide, whatever field you decide to go into. And wherever you go, you will always be part of the College of Pharmacy family. Congratulations, you did it. Um, I wish you well in, what, in wherever you go, and wherever you go, go blue. Thank you, Dr. Klein, so much for your remarks. I am now delighted to introduce the soon-to-be graduate who will be speaking on behalf of the class of 2024. Our speaker is not only an outstanding student, she is also a member of the women's swimming and diving team, and I think maybe had a pretty cool photo um, up on the slide presentation. After graduation, she is headed to pharmacy school to get her PharmD right here at our College of Pharmacy. Please join me in welcoming Claire Donan. Howdy. That was for my mom. Good afternoon, graduates, faculty, family, and friends. Today, we get to honor the class of 2024's momentous achievement, passing organic chemistry. <laughs> In all seriousness, when I sat down to write today's speech, I struggled with deciding what I wanted to say. 
My choices were limited and consisted of three options. A happy-go-lucky comedy act, a cheesy heartfelt monologue, or offering up wisdom from my whopping 22 years of life experience. Since I am not a comedian and definitely a crier, I chose to dig through my bag of limited wisdom, which ultimately led me to the lottery. No, I'm not talking about the Mega Millions or the Powerball, which are going for 284 million and 300, sorry, 203 million respectively today. Um, I'm referring to a piece of literature that I feel has shaped the way I think and can be applied to almost any future career. The Lottery by Shirley Jackson was written in 1948 about a small town and their obscure yearly tradition. This lottery involves one member of the town being randomly selected via a raffle to be stoned by the rest of the community. Now I know what you're thinking right now. Claire, this is pretty dark for a graduation speech. Maybe you should have gone with the stand-up routine, but hang with me. The, re the repeating motif carried throughout the story is the elements of the tradition that had been obscured or forgotten, which resulted in the purpose of the lottery being completely unknown. The lesson that can be learned through this story is the importance of having the desire to know why we do things. In the lottery, the townspeople continue with the tr this tradition because it has always been done. They never bother to question the reason or the morality of this practice, yet they faithfully carry it on annually. As a pharmacist, doctors, researchers, and more, we have the responsibility to the people we serve to desire to know why we do things, to desire to understand what we learn beyond the surface level, to ask questions and be willing to be wrong, to understand why we ourselves chose to pursue our careers. In many career fields, just like in the lottery, protocol holds a person's life in their hands. Be willing to dig, dig deeper in your studies and most importantly, see the humanity in those that you care for. Always remember that just because this is how it has always been done, doesn't mean it should persist if it requires change. Graduates, be the foundation for growth in your workplace. Ask questions, understand the why and never lose the desire to grow your knowledge. After all, Michigan is known for producing the leaders and best. So carry, what you, carry that with you everywhere you go and you can be the catalyst to changing the world. Congratulations and forever go blue. Thank you. Okay, not stealing your notes. Yep, that's great, thank you. Those are really great comments, thank you so much. The next part of our program is going to be the presentation of the honor courts. Today's program lists the class of 2024 and a variety of symbols besides their names, which indicate their various achievements. If you have not done so already, please take a look at that list. There are many ways that the college recognizes students, such as those who have shown exceptional academic performance based on their final cumulative grade point average or complete an honors research thesis. Honors cords are traditionally worn with the cap and gown during the university commencement ceremony, which is tomorrow at the big house. I hope you will be able to attend and I look forward to seeing you all stand and cheer as I present our fantastic graduates to the entire University of Michigan community at that event. Students being recognized for academic performance received a gold cord when they arrived this morning. There are three levels of distinction for our academic honors. The first distinction is highest distinction and is awarded to those students who are graduating with a GPA of 3.9 or higher. The next designation is high distinction and is awarded to students with a graduating GPA between 3.79 and 3.89, or sorry, 3.75 and 3.89. You're gonna check my math in that minute. The third designation is distinction and is awarded to students with GPAs between 3.6 and 3.74. Considering the rigors of our program, these students' accomplishments really are truly very impressive. Will the students graduating with academic distinction who have received gold cords please stand and be recognized? Outstanding job, everyone. Today, we are also recognizing a student who has completed an honors research thesis before graduation. Participation in this program means that this student dev devoted extensive time 
an effort towards a research project in one of our three academic departments. After completing the research, the student presented their results at our annual research forum, as well as completed a research manuscript which is suitable for publication in a scholarly journal. I would now like to call up our honor student and his advisor, Satik Vashnev and Dr. Anna Schwendeman. The title of Sadiq's research was Comparison of Cholesterol Transport Capacity. No, over there, over there by the screen, over by the screen, sorry. No, 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 black screen, black screen, sorry. No, 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 black screen. We're very flexible here, so we. So the title of Savik's research was Comparison of Cholesterol Transport Capacity of Peptide and Polymer-Based Lipoprotein Mimetic Nanodisks. Congratulations. <laughs> we are now gonna begin the ceremony that you all are actually here for, the recognition of the class of 2024. I should note that although we will recognize each student today individually, the authority to grant degrees from the University of Michigan is vested by the citizens of the state of Michigan through our elected Board of Regents. They will actually confer the degrees after we confirm that all the requirements have been met. We will call each graduate individually to be recognized for earning their bachelor's degree. Our BSPS program manager, Sneha Strodel and our Senior Associate Dean, Dr. Karen Ferris, are going to assist with the ceremony. So graduates, we change things up a bit. This is where we find out whether you're teachable or not. We're gonna, yeah, none like Dr. Schwindemann over here. We are gonna take, we are gonna give you the, your diplomas over here and then we'll take the photo over here as well. So that's gonna be the difference. We're not doing it over here. We're actually doing it over there so you get a much better photo, which is really what all of these ceremonies are about, right? So we do have a professional photographer here today and we are going to make the media from today's event available to you after the ceremony. Parents, we do invite you to take your own photos as well, but please do not get in the way of our photographer. Um, and we also welcome, and I highly encourage, um, applause and other celebratory um, expressions as the students are recognized, because after all, we are here to celebrate them and all of their great accomplishments. So Dr. Ferris and Sneha, will you please rise and help me recognize our graduates? Student, please line up along the side alphabetized by last name. That's stressful. All right, and we'll start with Ali Azim. Allison Borland. Elizabeth Carl. <laughs> Teresa Carrier. <laughs> Sanjana Chimalakonda. Morgan Cooper.
Kennedy Culver. Claire Donan. Anna Fisher. Grace Gleason. Jonathan Hellner. <laughs> Hannah Hewlett. <laughs> Junseo Kim. Jasmine Coonan. Lola Leahy. T. Win. <laughs> Kelly Nugent. <laughs> Sabin Park. Keisha Patel. <laughs> Noah Poland. Kevin Sue Anna Trupiano Satvik Vaishnav Edna Wu. Caitlin Ziggly. Hannah Zushlog. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everyone, on this amazing accomplishment. As of today, okay, let's be honest, tomorrow, you are officially now going to be one of our alumni, and I am excited to welcome you into our incredible and supportive alumni family, and that's family spelled with a PH because we are pharmacy. 
Now that the class of 2024 has symbolically made the transition from student to graduate, I would like to uh, introduce Dr. Peru Patel from our Alumni Board of Governors to address the class on behalf of the Alumni Society. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Patel. Thank you, Dean Ellenrod. Welcome, faculty, fellow alumni, family, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2024. My name is Paru Patel. I'm a graduate of the PharmD class of 1991 and a member of the college's current Alumni Board of Governors. It is my privilege to welcome you, class of 2024, as the newest members to our influential and expansive network of alumni. Today marks a very important day, a culmination of four years of hard work, dedication, motivation, heartaches, maybe a few tears, and a great deal of success. Four years of networking, camaraderie, and celebrations. These are experiences all graduates of Michigan have but what sets you apart is your perseverance. You are the COVID class. Most of you graduated in 2020, which meant you either had a small graduation service where your family may or may not have been there. You may have had a representative from your school come to your home and hand you your diploma on the lawn. Maybe a virtual or a drive-by graduation or no graduation at all. Today is extremely important for you and your families. As a mom of a fellow Michigan 2024 graduate, parents, I sat in the audience where you are uh, just yesterday as I got to watch my son cross the stage and get his diploma. So I know exactly how you feel. It is a very, very proud moment. So today, we celebrate all of you just a little bit extra. Graduates, as you finish your time here at Michigan, you will be following in the footsteps of over 670,000 current alumni. 672,026 to be exact. That includes 4,700 alumni from the College of Pharmacy and 200 bachelors in pharmaceutical sciences. This is the largest alumni base spread across 180 countries worldwide. So don't be surprised if you're sporting your Michigan gear far from Ann Arbor and you get a go blue, because you will. Um, it's like having a piece of home and camaraderie with you at all times, simply by the blue that we all bleed. Why are these numbers important? And what sets them apart from alumni of other universities? Each of these alumni are all cheering you on as you move forward with your careers. They are there to assist, so look for them. Reach out to them. And as you move forward, don't forget to look back and help those that are coming behind you. Provide them guidance, direction, mentorship. Join the Alumni Board of Governors. Each of you has that potential to be the one who develops the next groundbreaking drug, technology, be president of a health system, or even be dean of the College of Pharmacy. These past few years have been very challenging, but you have persevered and you've adapted. After all the late night studying, exams, labs, football games, and other extracurricular activities, now you're here at graduation. And if you can do that, you can do anything. And look around you. You are not alone in this path. You're surrounded by family, friends, faculty, and fellow classmates. They are all here to support you. And you are now also surrounded by a family of alumni just as committed to you. So congratulations again. Welcome to the University of Michigan alumni family and forever go blue. Thank you, Dr. Patel. I have to say, if you have not yet experienced the go blue out in the wild, 
It is coming. I think the oddest place I had it was in line at Disneyland with someone that was next to me and that person, I couldn't get away from that person. All they wanted to talk about was football and I'm not a huge football fan, so. So learn a little bit about football if you're not a huge football fan because that's, that's why people want to talk to you about it. So as we close, I have a final message for the class of 2024. We are so proud and grateful that you chose us for your undergraduate education. You are graduating from a college that for nearly 150 years has been at the forefront of making profound and positive impacts on society. You are our next generation of leaders dedicated to advancing pharmacy practice, research, and ultimately human health from bench to bedside and in boardrooms and communities. I hope to after these last four years, you now consider yourself a Michigander regardless of whether you grew up in this state or not, because we will forever be your pharmacy home. And although you're making the transition from student to graduate today, there is much left for you to do as an alumni, including joining us as we celebrate the opening of our brand new building in just a little over a year from now. The classes before you have embraced the mantra that we are forever leading at Pharmacy's Edge. Please make sure that all of the doors that were open to you during your education remain open and available to others following your path. Pharmacy and healthcare needs you, and we have high expectations for you as you change the world, because that is what Michigan Pharmacy does. We forever lead, we forever discover, and most importantly, we forever go blue. Will the graduating class of 2024 please stand? I'd like the audience to join me in recognizing them. These graduates are in our new alumni for their marvelous achievements. Welcome to the Pharmacy Alumni family. As we close today, I want to let, I would like to let ask that everybody remain seated until um, the stage group has left and graduates and myself have exited. Graduates, please go immediately outside the doors for, so that we can take a quick group photo. Families, faculty, guests, please remain inside while we are taking that photo and enjoy refreshments that I hope will be coming very shortly. Um, <laughs> And again, a huge congratulations to our graduates today. May you forever and always go blue.